As the first step in this example, we're going to define some geometry points okay, and then ultimately use those to create some reference points. So we'll start by just creating some x and y and z values. Okay, we can use numbers, maybe a slider or a code block, whatever we're going to use to go through and enter those values. And then we're going to create the points in the dynamo geometry using the points by coordinate node. After that, we're going to basically place reference points in the Revit family. We'll do that by using a node that makes a reference point by point. So what that does is it basically places a reference point in the Revit family that matches the coordinates of the dynamo geometry point. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So over here in dynamo, I'm going to pull that down for you here. We have some different sliders that we've worked out right now, and we're just going to use those as x, y, and z coordinates. You can do this more mathematically. You can enter these as kind of static values or slider values, just whatever it takes to go through and create three different points. We need three different points to define a curve. Okay, so so far we just have our dynamo points. Okay, you can sort of see the little previews of them right there. Zoom on in in my little empty Revit family window. Now we're going to go through and make reference points out of them. So reference point by point, we'll just take that dynamo geometry, create a reference point right there. When I run that, it's going to do something that involves a little bit of Revit now. It actually created Revit reference points right at those same points. So these are actually little Revit reference points that we can now use and join together to create a curve.